Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome, my name is Christine. My name is Brandon. Today we have a special guest here and Brandon and I are actually gonna do a gift guide. So if you guys haven't met him before, this is my boyfriend. We are gonna do like a three different sections. So we're gonna do like a under $25 around. gift. Yeah, around $25 ideas, ideas for his and hers. And then we're gonna do an around $50 and then we're gonna do a $100 plus. So that is gonna be more of a like significant other. Or if you just have a great friend. Yeah, or if you just want to be bougie and it's like a really special... Not being bougie. Over $100? Before we go and get started, first make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and the little notification bell. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so first things we want to talk about is around $25 gift ideas for guys. And so some of the ideas that he had would be... We're going to start off with some basics, I guess. Um, nothing out of the ordinary here, but I thought of like beanies i think a lot of christine's followers are also in washington it's freaking cold up there yeah uh socks recently found out that uniqlo has like the best socks so, and they're only like three or four dollars yeah so each. you can get like a bunch of socks i also like have some baseball hats over here those sometimes are more, a little more than 25 dollars depending on like if it's on sale or not but you could even get like nike hats adidas hats yeah like, you can get such cheap things to get people. If you buy a bundle of things, like if you get someone like a baseball cap and like a couple pairs of socks, it makes it a little bit of a more like cooler gift and it makes it feel a little bit more personalized. As opposed to getting like someone a gift card for $25. Yeah, if you're gonna get someone a gift card, it should be at least like 50, 40 or $50. I feel like for girls, under $25 category is a little bit easier. Skincare sets are amazing. Bliss is such a good, like affordable skincare set and they're sold at Sephora. So we have this set here and I'll put on the screen how much it is valued at and how much it retails for. The other day we were in Nordstrom and they have like oh, yeah. sections that are like, this section is like $25, around 25 and yeah. then there's like a 50 and then yeah. 100. And you can always get like, easy gift sets for people. You never go wrong with Lip Balm. Laneige makes some of the best lip balms ever and this set is super affordable and I feel like it's such an easy gift. Like it, it works for any type of girl if they like makeup or if they don't. I also love the set by Peace Out Skincare. They're sold at Sephora. Sephora also has like a really affordable section as well and this set retails for $25 and inside you get like acne patches, you get under eye patches, macro needling dots, pore strips. So I think this is a really great value. Usually if I'm shopping for someone in that range, I like to get them more than just one thing instead of like one $25 item. It just feels a little bit more personalized. I think it's more special when you buy them like sets and stuff like that. Down here we have this store called Burrow that has like really cool little like knickknacks, things maybe like coasters might be good cookbooks cookbooks candles, things like that like people are gonna appreciate just because a lot yeah. of times they're not gonna spend the time to or money and go out and get those like little simple things yeah so you can also go into sephora and like in their little checkout section there's like a whole tons of like minis so you can always get someone like a couple of minis and throw in a little mug or a candle or something uh, like that to kind of make it feel a little bit more special especially personalized mugs oh yeah cute. personalized mug and then sugar fina are they have like those little cubes of candy and I love getting it's like bougie candy it's bougie candy and I feel like it's a really great thing if you bought something for them around $15 and you feel like you don't know what else to add you can pop in a couple of those candies and so there's like a ton of little things that you can add in to kind of just spruce up a gift other things that I thought would be cute are like slippers that you can wear around the house is always cute and that's great to give to a family member or like someone at your office. Fuzzy socks, you can never have too many. He's added a couple of fuzzy socks to some of the gifts that he's given me in the past and I love them, I wear them so much. I also have been talking about reusable bamboo rounds all the time and if you know someone that's like really into skincare, you can get them a set of like reusable bamboo rounds off of Amazon for around $10. Maybe if you buy them like a cute skincare set at Sephora and then throw in the reusable cotton rounds as well, I think that would be a really cute idea. And then next, let's go go into the under $50 category. So aside from like the obvious gift cards, you can always get someone like an Amazon or an Uber gift card. For someone around $50, what would you get a guy? So I kind of thought of some things that Christine's gotten me. Overnight bags might be really good. Mm -hmm. Possibly. Overnight bags are like makeup bags for guys, by the way. I said possibly like vans. You can get like slip-ons or something like that for like around $50. I also said gym clothes. I think gym clothes, you can go shop like Nike or something and get like someone, maybe like a couple like gym shirts, maybe yeah. a pair of shorts. And like he's really into golf. So if you know the person that you're shopping for, if you know them really well, you can always get them things that you know like, they would use. Like tees, 
golf balls. And not like tease. That's what I'm asking for. Yeah, like, exactly. Tease, like tee the little ball up. I know that he plays socks. Uh, he plays socks. <laughs> He could always use golf balls. He can never have enough. So if you know the person that you're shopping for, you Literally can always... on my Christmas list every single year is yeah, golf balls. Yeah, just get something that you know they will use for sure. Especially if you are spending around $50, you can get someone a Hydro Flask. Yeah. I use my Hydro Flask every single day. It's usually not something that people think of buying for themselves because it's like $50 for a water bottle. So it would be a really great gift idea, especially if you find one in like a cute color. It would be a really cool yeah. gift for someone. For girls, I feel like perfume minis. A lot of times, Sephora and Nordstrom have like... Like little perfume sets so you can get them a little sampler set so they can try out a couple perfumes at once we also saw some great throw blankets yeah at Nordstrom they at have Nordstrom. like throws in their home like section for under $50 so you can get someone like a really nice throw that they can put on their bed on their couches or even just like a fuzzy blanket for them to have you could also get them like Sephora skincare sets this is a great set it is $50 but it's valued at $76 and so we have lots of goodies here from glow recipe so I feel like Sephora makes some really great sets and a lot of the times in the set it's worth so much more than you actually pay for so you can get someone like a cute little skincare routine or a little makeup set from like benefit cosmetics there's just always so many sets at Sephora that you can get also if it's around the 50 dollar range you can start getting into personalized things him and i were shopping for one of our like family friends and we almost got them coasters with like their initials mm -hmm. on them so that would be good for their house we really like going to like flea markets i kind of thought if the person that you're shopping for is like also into that type of thing you can go get some really cool like vintage teas yeah. you can get like quite a few cool like vintage tees yeah. maybe or, or like for girls i love buying my jewelry at flea markets for my sister i've found a couple of necklaces and rings that i've gotten her at flea markets that usually are valued at so much more than what i get for them the only thing about shopping at flea markets is i feel like it has to be for like a good friend because you can't buy used stuff yeah you can't buy used stuff for someone that you don't That's know gonna, that well yeah. or that doesn't appreciate it yeah. my sister also got me a makeup bag off of amazon they'll go ahead and put like a thing on the screen but I love that makeup bag. I have used it so much and there's different sizes of it that you can get as well. So if you're shopping for someone that travels a lot or even if you just want to get someone like a cute makeup bag, I would never think of going out and getting something like that for myself. You could always get like a cute little makeup bag and then fill it with makeup as well, like a couple minis from Sephora. I thought of for things for her. I like shopping at Aritzia a lot for girls like my sister, her, my mom. That's just like a staple store that has a lot of really great, yeah. simple pieces. Probably should be in like a lot of girls' closets. For his sister, I got her like a long sleeve bodysuit. That's super cute. You could get them like a really comfortable long sleeve shirt yeah. or t-shirts that you know that they're gonna use. And then throw in a couple minis. Like you can buy like them a pair of gloves or fuzzy socks and just throw it to make it kind of like a cute bundle. Next, let's go ahead and talk about like the $100 plus gift ideas. So I feel like these are gifts that you are gonna get like a really close family member or like a really close friend or even like a significant other best friend yeah best friend as far as clothing i think you can now start looking at getting people like staple pieces maybe in their closet mm -hmm. or like shoes like i've shoes. gotten him a pair of comme des garçons how do you pronounce it cdg whatever i got CDG, him a pair of like yeah. cdg converse and those are around like 120 or 150 i forget I think those are definitely more than that 150 but... yeah and you don't even wear them too what the heck Especially in this price range, I like shopping for things that people wouldn't think of getting for themselves. I had one of my really close girlfriends, it was her birthday, and her birthday is really close to Christmas, and so I got her her favorite like hourglass primer that I know she loves, and she always talks about it being so expensive and she never wants to buy it again. So I bought her one of those. I bought her like a beauty blender and then threw in like some candy and little miscellaneous things. You could also get them like personalized leather goods. Like I've gotten him. Oh, show them your little overnight oh, yeah. bag. I know we said like overnight bags for around the 50, but Christine got me like this one that was pretty nice. It's like good quality leather. Yeah. And it's also I'll show them like got my initials. Initials if y'all can see that. It's pretty big and it has like a little strap if you want to hold it. That's all leather and I actually got them from Etsy. I also did get him this wallet, Rag and Bone. Yeah, Rag and Bone. You can get like nice wallets maybe. But Etsy has a lot of really great personalized things. I've seen personalized necklaces gold bracelet you can get really good leather goods on there for like a more affordable price because i feel like if you get something like that in nordstrom it ends up being a lot more expensive i love shopping on etsy especially if you are shopping ahead of time things usually take like two to three weeks to get out so you want to make sure that you're getting things like 
soon. His overnight bag, I got all three of your initials on there. So it says BJW. Something like that is really cool because then they know that you didn't just buy it from a generic store. You had it personally made for them. So those are always great ideas. And you're supporting a good local business. Exactly. You can always get a girl like a card holder and have like her initials engraved on them. Koyana is a leather store here in California. They offer personalization for like $10 and they do it really, really quick as well. So you can always get cute things on there. And then I've also previously gotten him like Bose speakers. Yeah. That he loves Good and gift. uses. I feel like that's not something that people normally think of splurging on themselves. I would say the Bose ones are definitely like probably a little more, but like we have, I think a few that- Bluetooth speakers. Bluetooth speakers that you've either been sent or I gifted, bought it, yeah. bought them, bought it, bought it. But yeah, regardless, I mean, there's like a bunch of like really great little portable speakers. This one is from Anchor, and this is the Anchor Soundcore, and I think it's on Amazon for under a hundred dollars. But these are great, like he was saying, for someone that throws parties. It's super loud. It's also like pretty water resistant. So I think that's kind of a cool idea to give someone. And it's really like outside the box. I previously got him the new AirPods, but if you have a bigger budget and especially if you are gifting for someone that is like you're a significant other and you're willing to spend a little bit more money. I think it's great to get them luxury goods that they wouldn't normally buy for themselves but are popular or things that people just use all the time. For girls, IT Cosmetics makes amazing brushes and they're so expensive. Artis. Artis is like more than that. Uh, oh, we're in the over 100 okay. category here. Anyways. Get yourself some Artis brushes. <laughs> it Cosmetics makes great brushes, but their brushes are so expensive, but they do sell them in sets. So I think this time of year is a great time to get someone like a really nice brush set, especially cause like for me, Whenever I look at expensive brushes, I'm like, am I really gonna spend 50 to $60 on a brush? But if you get someone a brush set, I think that's a really great gift idea. You can get them like Le Labo candles. His sister is all about luxe, expensive scents. Kidding. And then especially if you are able to spend around $100, you can get them like nicer throws. We were going through Nordstrom the other day and I just love going to the home goods section mm -hmm. and like feeling all the blankets because yeah. they got some nice ones in there. And like Pottery Barn has some really great ones, but yeah. theirs are a little bit more expensive and then Aritzia clothes so I feel like when you're spending mm -hmm. upwards of a hundred dollars now you can like actually get some, oh, you can get some nice things. coats in there yeah at Aritzia not for a hundred dollars not coats he previously had gotten me like really cute sweaters or like yeah. great high neck tops I can't really think of like a men's store that's like that honestly Oak and Fort's pretty good but it's still not like that because yeah. like Aritzia I don't know if you guys have been in there we used to be in Seattle they're everywhere I think in Seattle and there's only like there's like two down here by us yeah. they're not as big down here because I think they just sell like a lot of coats and stuff yeah. a lot of winter pieces yeah. but that is the one-stop shop for girls I think yeah and he they actually everything there. he actually introduced me to Ritz and if you guys watch videos on my channel or any of my styling videos you guys know I'm obsessed with Aritzia and I've been shopping there for my sister for years because yeah she's been yeah. All about that store for a So minute. if you're shopping for like your sister, your mom, or any type of girl in your life, your girlfriend, whatever, they have the best stuff. And the only thing is their price point is a little bit higher than like H&M, Zara, whatever. But the quality is so... You pay for what you get. You there. pay for what you get, but it's not like you're paying like for designer prices yeah. or brands or whatever. You're just paying for the really nice quality. And it's yeah. not, especially when you compare it to like Rag & Bone, Vince, it's yeah. less expensive, but the quality is the quality is still there. Better, arguably. It's also a great idea to get people things that they wouldn't get themselves or things that they couldn't find themselves. Especially that we live here in LA, we have like huge flea markets that we can get people some really cool things. Yeah. And there's so many shops around here that we can buy stylish people some really cool style pieces that they couldn't find in like Nordstrom or other like standard department stores. We're about to do some like shopping for our friends like back in Seattle. Mm -hmm. The big thing that I said is like, I wanna get our friends like back in Seattle things from stores down here that we might not have back in Seattle. So things from like boutiques or small businesses, yeah. things that are like really unique are always great gift ideas. So that is it for our gift guide. I hope you guys enjoyed it, found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up. Smash that like button. And folks. let us know down below if you guys have any gift ideas that we didn't talk about. Let us know. We would love to hear like some of your guys' favorites and recommendations. That is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. We also did a couple videos recently. We were just in San Francisco to celebrate our five year anniversary. So that was a really cute vlog. Make sure you check out the makeup video. I've watched that shit a few <laughs> times now and like I'm in it. And 
and I still think it's funny. It's so funny. So he did my makeup. It's funny because sometimes he'll walk into the bathroom when I'm doing my makeup and he'll be like, do you want me to do your makeup today? And I'll be like, did you see the last time you did my makeup? So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye y'all. Wait, what is that?